Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hello. Gratitude Challenge Healing Call. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, absolutely. So I'm going to put everybody on mute for now, and then I'll take some questions later, okay? Okay, no problem. Awesome. Just, you know, we'll see if we can do this. All right. So, um... I wanted to, you know, we're going to start off talking about gratitude and, you know, the gratitude challenge, because normally this call is just for the participants of the gratitude challenge, but I decided to make it available to everybody, whoever wanted to join and whoever could use a little pick me up or a little bit of extra love and gratitude, right? So I'm going to start off with a really heavy topic, really, uh, uh, something just came to my attention today and it's like, uh, so we're going to start off with that and then we're going to do some healing stuff and I'm going to take some questions and comments from all of you lovely folks who are here. All right. So, um, I, you know, last week there was, uh, a bus crashed into a bus station shelter thing in Ottawa last week. And, um, I'm from there originally. So, um, and today I was looking at, you know, on Facebook and everything and they report and there were three people who were killed and 23 people who were injured. And then today I was looking on Facebook and they released the names and pictures of the people who were killed. And one of the names that I saw was, um, it looks like, you know, it's the name of my, of a friend's husband. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, cause I haven't seen her since I've moved to you know, Austria or since I left the government where I used to work with her and it's like, Oh my goodness. But we were, you know, we were very close when we worked together in the government. And it's like, it just shook me, you know, cause it's like, um, you never know, you never know when, it, you know, things like this happen. Right. And so I'm just going to invite all of you to really appreciate, you know, the people that you love, your family, friends, you know, that you love and care for, you know, really, you know, and like, my, as you all know, some of you know, um, my kids are far away, right? So on days like this, when I, you know, wish I could really just hug them and just tell them again, oh my God, I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for you that you're in, in my life, that you chose me to be your mom. I'm so, so grateful. And, you know, I can say that to them, of course, on the phone, you know, but, um, and days like this, you know, I, I would really like to just hug them <laughs> and hold them forever, right? So, um, so I was, <laughs> I was holding my puppy because <laughs> like, okay, I can't hold my kid, so I'm gonna hold the puppy. He's he's the, he's my you know new kid, right? But but you know, in essence, it's still it's like you never know when anyone's gonna go. Even if someone is ill, you still don't know exactly when they're going to go, right? When is it going to be the last time that you actually get it? to say I love you or, or to say thank you or to appreciate them or anything like that. Um, and, and, you know, I just want you to just take a moment today at some point and just be grateful for all of the people that are in your life, um, your family and friends, you know, the good ones <laughs> and the ones that can be a bit challenging because even the challenging ones, you know, they're teaching you something, they're showing you something. And sometimes they're showing us ourselves what we need to see, what we still need to heal and forgive and love. Right. So I just want to start off with that because like, I am so grateful for all of you for being on the call for all of you who are in my community. You, you give me a, a platform, a space to be me and to do what I love to do, which is, you know, healing and talking and sharing with all of you. And, you know, I'm going to start being even more vulnerable and sharing even more and, you know, really not holding back because, <laughs> you know, I tend to hold back. Um, so, you know, but so thank you. You know, if I never get the chance to actually see you in person or, talk to you in, in person or, you know, um, thank you for, for being a part of my journey and being a part of my life and being a part of my community and, you know, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Ah, 
So, um, okay, I tend to cry. <laughs> yes, we're gonna hug one day. <laughs> Because <laughs> I, I, as much as I love the virtual world, I actually do love, um, you know, physically hugging people. And <laughs> okay, yes, we're all gonna hug and we're all gonna <laughs> cry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to start off with that. Okay, and now you know, um, let's move forward. So for some of you. This is not your first gratitude challenge that started today. You know, for some of you, it's like, it's been months, right? So how are you doing? <laughs> what are you grateful for other than, you know, what I just mentioned, you know, the, the people in your life. But what, 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 what's coming up for you in your world that you're really grateful for today? And yeah, um, go ahead. And, yeah, and I was going to say, go ahead and unmute yourself if you would like to ask or say something. Yes, I would like to just, and gratitude and thanks for re replacing or I guess my my reconnection with my mother um, my brother as well I'm you know I, I'm you know I I'm thankful for just everything it, it's just nothing too small not to be grateful for mm -hmm. you know Absolutely. it doesn't matter how many years or you know you know they say um you know you know slap you know slap your face turn the cheek or what have you like that mm -hmm. after i've read that forgiveness is more so for your self improvement within to heal Absolutely. because you know, all that negativity just hurts you more and yeah. as well when you everybody deserves to be loved Absolutely. and in, in terms of understanding you know unless you are in the skin that they're in mm -hmm. you can't judge anybody by what they may have done I believe yeah. it's all about intention and you know someone was telling me today about karma mm -hmm. okay? And it's pretty interesting because, you know, I, I, I'm kind of um, <laughs> straddling the fence on, on that, okay? Right. Because, you know, good things happen to bad people <laughs> yep. and bad things happen to good ones. Right. And I, I just believe that it's in the now of, of how you're feeling, your energy, and what you want to project and in order to receive back you know because everything is energy energy is everything mm -hmm. and i'm learning um uh, i wouldn't say at a late age because it's never too late until you until you don't exist <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah <laughs> um well, you know like i said I, I believe it's all about intentions and um one quote brilliant uh quote from brilliant mind <laughs> Ernest Hemingway said, um, there is no nobility in being superior to other men or another man. Mm -hmm. True nobility uh, comes from uh, being superior to oneself. Mm, wow, yes. <laughs> being superior to oneself, meaning your old habits, your old thoughts, your old feelings, you know, who you were yesterday, right? Exactly, exactly. And I, I, try, I try and find something positive in everything, you know, yeah. everybody, you know, if, if God just wanted Adam to be by himself, <laughs> there would be no us. I mean, if he's, everybody is here for each other. And it's so, you know, it's so critical that we uplift each other because it saves lives. It saves it does. ourselves, yeah. you know, because... Absolutely. And, you know, and that's my, that's my mission is to inspire and empower and uplift people to know that something else is possible. And that's something else sometimes is knowing that love within, you know, and, and for you to be able to love yourself, to forgive yourself, to not have judgment for yourself and to accept yourself. Forgiving yourself is, is a mother effort. <laughs> and, and you know, that, that is very true. And that's, that's why I, I chose to, you know, call in and even speak and, you know, you can start playing the global, what is it, um, 
Golden Globe Award Academy mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. And they just, they're like, okay, you've talked enough. <laughs> you move on. No, Good. thank you so much. And what is your name? Tisha, you mean. Sorry? Clement Lewis. Um, you know, thank you for giving me the time to allow me to share. Absolutely. Another thing I wanted to share is um, in relationships, loving yourself and remembering your true self royalty and worth mm. mm-hmm. is so important. It is. You know? Yep. As, especially for us women um, today. Yeah. You know, we've been taught and raised in society that once you get married, you become one. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, you still have to have your own sense of identity. Absolutely. And and your own voice, right? And, and, and be you, but you can be you within a relationship. And yeah. And being different, it's okay. You know, it, it's, you know, the young children, you know, nowadays, you know, the bullying and stuff like that. I mean, words hurt. Yes, absolutely. Yes. They do. Sometimes more so than anything else. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And in terms of finding a good, something good within, you know, every bad moment is what makes lemonade, what makes the sour, <laughs> the mm. sour lemons. Mm-hmm. Taste delicious. Okay, it makes it worthwhile. Life is not. Life is a gift. It is a gift, and it's precious. And you know, and and it's like, what what do we do every day? What do what do we spend our time and energy and focus on? Right? Are we focusing on the lemonade, or are we focusing on the lemon? <laughs> right? So are you focusing on the no, sweetness it's just, of it's, life or the sourness of life? Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate because you know, time taking the time. Yeah. You know. I, I myself, I'm also listening to your show because to get some motivation because I would, you know, as well, like to join and add value to, you know, podcast and empowerment and uplifting each other just as well as you are doing. So I'm, I'm also um, admiring and uh, taking <laughs> notes and awesome. from, yeah. from you. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to be quiet and just, I just want to <laughs> say you so one more much. thing. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of prosperity and wealth, it's much more than just one one category, you mm-hmm. know. And you know, it's a lot of people that, that won't take the time to help each other, point us in the right direction. And it's unfortunate, you know. And you know, so many people have ideas, you know, and that's where the greatest <laughs> The greatest, uh, what, the greatest uh, technology and stuff like that, inventions have all came started from your thoughts, mm-hmm. your feelings, energy, you know, and, exactly. and even entrepreneurs, you know, you need that upliftment too. It's, yes. you know, it's like a self, you know, you can self, uh, what's it called, self, self-assured or What's the right word I'm looking for? Well, sometimes, um, sometimes we need the support from others, right? We need the reassurance from others. And sometimes it's even the validation and confirmation from others. You know, some, <laughs> there are many days where I feel like, I think I'm crazy. You know, and then I can talk to right. <laughs> well, and I get, no, no, you're know. not crazy. You're, you're good. You know, and, and, you know, sometimes they will validate something for me, which is, you know, what I needed to hear, right? And so we, we, yeah, need, the about community, right? we need each other, right? We can't do this alone, right? Right, but as well, you know, even in business, you know, I I believe that it is personal. You know, you should have good intentions behind it and the beneficial points. You know, technology for good, it's yeah. just it's gotten crazy. You know, and so what what is your intention behind using Zoom, or what is your intention behind you know attending these types of calls, or creating these types of calls, or creating your podcast? What's your intention behind it, right? And that's what and what is your passion, right? And what are you passionate yeah. about in your life? And even that passion that you do have, be grateful for that passion, you know, and be grateful that you have the opportunity to serve because not everybody does. I mean, everybody can, yeah. but not everybody does, right? So if you can and you do, be grateful for that, right? So thank you so much. This was awesome. I'm going to let I somebody think- else say, um, have their say <laughs> in a minute as well, but thank you. This is awesome. <laughs>
so much, and I'm sorry to for your loss, because that is devastating. Mm, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, you can't, the people have, you know, love is something, the love that you shared is something that they can't take away, and, and yeah. even if your memories might fade from yeah. old age, the love <laughs> is still there, yeah. and we'll see each other again. We are all energy, more than just the skin we're in. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, that's a good point, um, that even when people do pass on, you know, it's just, it's just the physical body that's passing on. We're still connected to them. And we can still have conversations with them, right? Um, there are many, <laughs> many people who can assist you with that, but you can, you can still have conversations. But, you know, and it's about appreciating and being grateful for the experiences that you have with people, right? So, um, you know, and, and for me, I've always valued experiences as a, not necessarily things, but the experiences that I have, you know. So meaning, you know, last summer when I went to Canada in the U.S., I really appreciated being able to see some of my friends and family that I hadn't seen in a long time, you know, and reconnecting and seeing some new friends that I met in person for the first time. So that was awesome. And so for me, that, you know, that's more important to me than... I don't know, things, you know, I mean, I do have things, <laughs> but the experiences um, with friends and family, you know, the memories that we create together, you know, that's, that's really the quality that I like. I mean, I do have art and things like that, you know, on my wall and I like that too, but it's mostly people, you know, it's my relationships with people. And sometimes being so far away from everybody, I feel like, ah, I'm really missing my, my, my folks, you know, and my people and my friends and my kids, especially, you know, and um, as wonderful as technology is, it still does not beat a hug, right? So even the virtual hugs are lovely <laughs> and I really appreciate them too. And I, I'm grateful for them as well. Um, and, you know, for Lisa, you know, you know, Lisa says, finding laughter in moments when it seems hard. Yeah, you know, we, there's always something that we can find joy in, right? And when things are going tough, it's really important then to find some way to laugh, to, to lighten up the mood. So, you know, I, yesterday I was talking to my daughter and she was um, going through something. And so I, you know, so she was, and, I, and uh, you know, I had a call. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I got to go get ready for my call. So, but I said, are you okay? And she said, yeah. And I said, well, you know, why don't you like watch something funny? So for her, she likes to watch Friends. It's like, watch Friends. That'll make you laugh and it'll lighten up the, your energy, you know, and, and their space. And then, you, then you're able to like go beyond whatever it is that, you know, whatever that was, right? And give you new perspectives and so on. And that's the same thing with, you know, finding something to be grateful for. As soon as you get, get into that state or space of gratitude, you automatically shift the energy that you're in. And not just the energy that you're in, get this, you're, but you're also shifting your future energy, right? The future events, your future timeline by the more grateful that you are every day. And, you know, the, the gratitude is not for extra special things. It's for everyday things. You know, Julie says, I'm grateful for everything I have right now, today and my family, and friends, and my dog, and car, and home, and food. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's not just that. I mean, I'm grateful for, you know, I'm grateful for this um, Lemurian seed crystal that I have. You know, I love it. I just uh, love it. But I'm also grateful for the store where I purchased it, right? I'm also grateful for the person who dug it out of the ground, you know. I'm grateful for the transport you know, whoever transported it to the store and so on, right? So I was like, I'm so grateful because otherwise I wouldn't have this and I wouldn't be able to experience the wonderful moments that I've had with this crystal. Okay, that's just a slight, you know, little example, right? So gratitude for everything around you. You can just look around your room and see all the things to be grateful for, you know? So if, you, if there's a painting on the wall, you can be grateful for the painting you can be grateful for the painter. You can be grateful for the person who created the frame. You can be grateful for the people, the store that you bought it in and so on and so on and so on, right? All of that. And what that does, it sends that energy of gratitude to those people, <laughs> you know? And so which, you know, which uplifts the planet and humanity as a whole. 
Ah. <laughs> I'm just like, ugh. you know, and so if we are wanting to raise the vibration of the planet, if we're wanting to make a difference in the world, it starts right in our space, just like within arm's length around us. It starts right here, right? With us and with everything around us, we can find something to be grateful for. We can find something to love and appreciate every day. Okay? And I'm like getting so emotional <laughs> today. It's like, ah. Finding ways to love, Randy says. Absolutely. I love that too. Score. <laughs> I always feel grateful when my mom and I go to the mountains and crystal mines. Yeah. And, and, you know, and it's like, I have so many that I can't bring here, but you know what I mean? Even grateful for Mother Earth for having the minerals and plants to make the paints and dyes from. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and so the more that you, and that's the thing, the more that you are grateful for every day, those moments of gratitude, they start to shift your energy right now and your energy in the future. So then when you're wanting to, you know, create your life or, or create something for your future, you start from a place of gratitude. Start from that higher vibration. Because if you're trying to create from a lower vibration, of, a vibration of lack and scarcity and fear, my baby's back. <laughs> um, then you're just going to create more of that lack and scarcity and fear. Okay, but if you create from a place of gratitude and expansiveness and love, you're going to create a higher vibration of that thing, whatever it is that you that you're wanting. Does that make sense? Where's my puppy? Wow, I'm like sweating buckets now. All right, so I'm to see if I missed anything from before. Hold on one second. So we're, we are going to do healing in a moment. Um, <laughs> no pressure, no diamonds. No mosquitoes, no chocolate. <laughs> I didn't know about that one, Randy, but I'm going to go with that. The no mosquitoes, no chocolate. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you know, I wanted to share that, 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 you know, we're still in that mode of, you know, it's January, right? Middle of January. Are you still like <laughs> following your intentions, right? Are you, are you still, you know, following your goals or whatever you had planned to do for this year? Or have you like gotten off? <laughs> it's okay if you have, but is somebody, hello? Hello? Yeah. Did you want um, to say something? Well, where do you, uh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, how do you, okay. It's, you know, my mother said uh, that, you know, it's okay to feel. You should let your emotions out. Yeah. And serve them. And just. What is it? Your amygdala. Mm hmm Yeah. That controls, you know, part of the emotions and stuff. And your energy, you know, it's my, my father had passed. Okay, I'll share something with you. My father um, had raised me and my brother uh, when I was like two, like two and a half. My brother was, uh, is a year and a half younger than me. Um from in California and all the years I had you know was you know missing my mom and you know you know going through teenage so I had went to stay with her when I was like about uh, I guess around 13 13 14 mm -hmm. and just you know in a wild stage and you know just yes yeah, teenagers are always like, so much fun I, Huh? Teenagers are always so much fun. <laughs> well, now, for fun is not, it depends on how you define fun. It's, it's not good or bad, you know. Um, the thing is, you know, I was trying to find myself and learning about life. And basically, you know, years passed and, you know, I had 
reached out and she had finally, you know, found my email through spam. <laughs> I guess it wind up in a spam folder, what have you. Um, it was last year. Okay. Um, around, what was it? I would say a couple, couple months that right after my father had passed. Uh, that was in March. Is your mother still alive now? I, you know, I thought that I would be pissed, pissed off because, you know, when the 9-11 um, occurred, you know, anybody could have been traveling in New York. Yeah. But Lots of people I saw were. a post. Well, yeah. And I was always asking why, you know, why this, why they were, and, you know, the why is just, you can drive yourself nuts about why things happen, mm -hmm. you know, because of many outcomes and <laughs> stuff and anyhow so, so many options in life that could have occurred and it that I've when I had con you know got back in contact with my mother after all these years I I I'm just it was like you know replaced it was like a rebirth inside of me and Excuse me. You know, I, you have to excuse me. <laughs> One thing I, you know, being out on your own, you grow a tough skin. Of course, and, absolutely. So, you know, you especially men are, are taught not to show their emotions or cry or, or because it's supposed to be a sign of weakness. And it's not. No, and that's why even sometimes when I cry on, on TV or on, on, on the video, it's like, oh, I shouldn't cry. But you know what? If emotions come, let them come. They might be serving somebody else, but they're definitely serving me. So, you know, let it go. Let it, you know, release it. Feel it. And, and well, it's just, I, I used to feel this an unnecessary bodily function. You know, <laughs> I just feel like it's, I, I call it, you know, sweating out your eyeballs. <laughs> I don't oh. like to cry because. But what, what it does, it, it makes you softer. It, it opens up your heart even more and it actually makes you more vulnerable so that you can receive from other people, including spirit, creator, source, God, universe, right? When you actually allow yes. yourself to feel and let go. I miss my father so much. And that's fine, right? Although, when he passed, it was like. You know, the universe had sent me, you know, the gift that I, I needed right at that time because I felt so alone in terms of reconnecting back with my mother. And I needed that. And not just me, but she needed that as well because, you know, she had it tough. You know, mm -hmm. she's a very educated woman and such a sweet woman inside. And being so young, I didn't have a chance to get to know her and learn about her very much. Mm -hmm. And it kind of sucks because that, you know, she's a, you know, she got her PhD. And um, I don't, I don't want to say if the wrong view, psychologist or psych, um, in psychology. I just, yeah, I know. But the thing about it is, in terms of, you know, mental health, mm -hmm. it's so important. Of course. That's, that's much. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, if, if more of us would reach out when we require support, you know, um, I think we would all be in a much better place. But we tend to not reach out. But, yeah. But I feel guilt. I feel bad about that myself. And, you know... This is, this is not about feeling bad or judging yourself. It just is. But, you know, next time, you know, reach out, right? Get, get the help and, uh, and, and support from um, people, friends, family, you know, uh, professionals. I've done that in the past. I've gotten support because I needed it. Otherwise, I would not be here, right? And so I'm grateful yeah. that there yeah. are people out there who can support us, right? 
Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's just, I feel like I have uh, found not just my mother again, but like better than a best friend. Awesome. And in fact, difficult for me to reach out to her at times when I'm facing difficulties because I don't like to be, you know, some people only call when things are bad mm-hmm. or, you know, yeah. I've had to, I've and had that's... to stay, you know, move, you know, move away from even friends that I are very good at heart. But the only t- thing we talk about is something negative. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't, I and don't want to do be that, that for a while, but you can't do that forever. Right. At some yeah, point, know. you do have to say, you know what, this is not working for me anymore. Right. Because you, sh- you should be surrounded by people that are positive, uplifting, empowering. Right. And who are supporting you. Right. There are some days of yeah. where we all need help when we're all feeling down and negative And, you know, the, yeah, absolutely. But majority of the time, your friends and family and your support team should be, you know, positive. Right. Yeah. So I should just be. I need to just stop being so. Uh, I guess just reach out. Just vain or vain, but uh, <laughs> just reach out. we're not going to put a label on it. But just reach out. I'm sure she'll 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 like that. You know that you're reaching out. You know. Okay. Let me ask you. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a healing, um, the part now, you know, so that might help too with, you know, what's been going on. Okay. So just stay, 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 you know, continue to stay on the line and, and listen to the, the healing part too now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So Brenda, did you want to say something now? Yes. Um, I wanted to say that um, actually over the last few days, um, I've experienced a lot of uh, crying jags, a lot of emotion, and I've actually talked to a few other people. And it's like, there really isn't one particular reason for it. It's just, I think it's something that's just happening right now. We're just, we're feeling this. And so, yeah, so well, thank it's, it's, you. <laughs> it's an intense time between, you know, because we just had a solar a partial solar eclipse and now we're moving into a lunar eclipse coming up right Mm -hmm. and the 20 something 21st right so so. yeah so in in this time there's a lot of energies that are coming up so it's intense Mm -hmm. right so this is why it's going to be really important to be gentle with yourself do whatever gratitude process or you know you have because that's going to help to lighten you up a little bit more and um and if you need support, ask for the support, reach out, right? right? right. Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, we all know that, you know, last year in May or June, I was going through a really tough time. And, you know, I may, I am lucky that I'm still here, you know, mm-hmm. and I did reach out, you know, <laughs> I did reach out and, and, and I was still struggling a lot, but I did reach out, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. um, and I got professional help, and you know, like like from my own mentors and mm-hmm. my own colleagues, and you know, I, I had sessions with them just trying to get me out of the funk that I was in. But it was an intense time, so mm-hmm. you know that's why I always um, talk about get the support that you need. You know, I, I know these free calls are great, but sometimes they don't address what's going on with you personally. You know, they're going to be general, right? They're not going to address what's going on with you personally. And sometimes you need that personal interaction, that personal engagement. And that's a form of honoring and honoring you. And they're actually uh, trained to try to help you get to the, to the place where you need to heal. They, they really are. They have uh, their methods to, to, you know, to, to bring it out where not everybody has that ability. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like sometimes, you know, it's and sometimes it may just be, you know, a five minute conversation with somebody that you need, you know, mm-hmm. but it just mm-hmm. it changes your perspective, changes your energy, change, changes something. Right. So right now, <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> um, all of you. Right. Whatever's going on. Be really gentle with yourself and 
don't judge. If you are going mm -hmm. through a hard time and you're crying all the time, it's okay. Just let it go, but don't stay with it for too long. Mm -hmm. Let it go and say, okay, what else is possible now? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what else do I want to do now? Okay, so feel the feelings, you know, mm -hmm. process them and, 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 and like what's going on here, right? Ask questions around it. And then I say, okay, and now what? Okay. So, because it's very easy for us just to stay in the feelings and go down a, a spiral, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very easy because it's, it's an old habit. It's, it's something that we've been doing forever and, you know, <laughs> it's very easy to do again. But no, ask instead, okay, all right, I see it. You know, thank you. This is still coming up. Yep, I've been through this many times. I see it. Okay, got it. But now what? So now what do I want to do with my life? That's what I ask. Okay, now what do I want to do? What will be fun for me? Let me do something fun today. Even if mm -hmm. it's for an hour. That's why I talk about, you know, my daughter watching Friends for half an hour, right? Because it shifts the energy. So when something is going on, shift yep. the energy. Do something to shift yep. the energy. Um, you had had somebody on one of your shows um, a ways back, and she does the, the wags. You know, mm -hmm. the tail wag. Mm -hmm. I love that. I use Amy that Flynn. so much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it'll shift your energy. It really will. It'll yeah. make you laugh. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah. Right. And so, and, and that's the thing. It's like you have to tell yourself and your emotions and your mind and your thoughts that, okay, I see you. You know, we're not mm -hmm. going to suppress or repress those feelings and emotions. I see you. And, you know, I'm honoring that I'm still feeling this way. Okay, cool. But now what else do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. And so, you know, um, you know, do the gratitude journal, do the gratitude jar, do the, <laughs> do a gratitude post. Brenda, I don't think you've posted in the Facebook group. I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know, know if you're on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, okay. I'm, I'll get there. I, I'm, tr I'm still figuring it out. I don't know okay. how to do it yet. So. Okay. All right. But, I, you know, send me an email. Say, you know, Alara, I just want to send you this gratitude because, you know, I'm going through stuff and I'm, I know that you said be grateful. So I'm doing something different to change my energy. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and, and that's the thing. It's like, it's very easy for us to fall back into old patterns and old behaviors. Right. And we want to say, okay, we honor that. And then let's move forward. Let's shift this now. And right now, I'll be honest with you guys, right now, whatever you think and feel, not to scare anybody, but it's like really manifesting really quickly. So focus on the positive, you know, even when the shit's coming up, focus on the positive, focus on where you want to go, focus on where you want to be, focus on what you want to experience, okay? And move more into that, okay? Eagle song, woman. Just a quick, just a very quick one. Yeah. Um, you know, you've read the comments about intimacy and all that, and you know who I am. I mm -hmm. focus on the good and all of that. And mm -hmm. so uh, I've been doing a lot more sessions and healing and being out there. Yeah. Um, but what's being shown to me is stuff that is, that I can't mention, but that is unacceptable to me. And I find that time and time again, even when I'm in gratitude and daily rituals, you know, everything that is good and kind and, and evolving and all evolution and all that, it keeps coming up in my marriage, stuff that is unacceptable. Have you told your husband? Yes. Hmm. So at so. some point, you know, you have to get to that point for yourself. At some point you have to say, you know what? Enough. So my husband's in the other room, but when I say, you know what, he knows he's in trouble. As soon as those words come out of my mouth, he pays attention. He's like, all right, I need to, I need to change this. I need to change something. But when, when do you make that final decision that it's, it is enough now? That's up to you to decide. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. That's up to you to decide. And you have to choose what's more important for you. You, or the relationship the way it is because let's okay. face it people don't change they can but they don't always and and it's you know 
is your responsibility is to you to change but if they don't change you can't change them that's my answer okay okay thank you you're welcome love you so you know just you know because we're talking about this now my ex-husband i i sent him a, a message today i asked him so i asked him hey when was the date of our divorce <laughs> he's like he, he, he sent me back a message. What, you want to celebrate the date of our divorce? <laughs> I was like, no, but you know, I, I was like, no, I found it. It's okay. But you know, but the point was that when we were together, our marriage was horrible. Nobody could see that from the outside, but inside, I, I could see it more than he could, but it was horrible. And then I finally got to the point where I was like, I can't, well, for me, it was spirit was talking to me and, and telling me, you can't do this anymore. Because I was dying inside. I wasn't being me. I wasn't free. I wasn't joyful. I, like there was nothing, right? And um, and I got the message, you know, I, I've told this to you before, I'm sure, but I, I, I got the message really clearly when I'm watching a movie with my daughter and there's this like, uh, the, the couple on the beach, right? And they're walking on the beach and they're happy and joyful. And then something hit me in my chest, you know, like a physical thing. And, and it's like, Oh my God. It's like, yeah, you want that. Or like, that's what you want. And you deserve that is what is, is the message that I got. Right. And then that was the end of, <laughs> that was the end of my marriage. That was the beginning of the end of the marriage. I've had many of those, but I keep trying to make it better and fix it and send it love and, yeah, and all that. So I tried and to I make didn't. it better and fix it. I went to the psychiatrist. I took him with me. We, I did all the talking. He did nothing. I was a psycho bitch from hell. He was like the nice guy. You know, it's like, you know what? Fuck that shit. I'm done. Been there, done that. So I got my message. Thank you, Alara. You're welcome. <laughs> and I, I, sorry, I swore to that. So like, no, Aw. sometimes we have to. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's, and like, I didn't have anybody to support me when I made that decision. I told you that, right? Not one person not one person the whole world and that still hurts me that they were not willing to honor my desires and my wishes nobody you know and i still had to do it and i fought with the entire world meaning my parents my family you know everybody and i did it and you know and i was worried about the kids of course right but mm -hmm. oh my god mm -hmm. my kids are wonderful now you know it's like but um you have to follow your heart and you have to follow your knowing and your truth and what's right for you Thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> so Lisa says, I've been feeling the energy very strong. I primed a canvas and started a painting today. Awesome. I think I needed to do something creative. Yes. And playful. It shifted my mo Absolutely. Thank you for saying that, Lisa. Oh, my goodness. Yes. If you're feeling down and, like, depressed and negative and, like, emotions everywhere, do something creative. You know? Um, you know, create a vision board like we did last weekend or weekend before, not last, two weeks ago. Create a vision board, create a painting, draw something. Um, somebody, somebody, I was talking to somebody and behind, oh, yeah, it was, it, it was Caroline. I love that beautiful picture you have in front of you that it looks like a painting that you painted or a drawing that you did, but it's like, it's beautiful. I love it. It's like a mandala, but to me, it looks like a mirror, you know? It's like, yeah, a magic mirror. It's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, right? And so, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so do some, or like, you know, you could do like, you know, this, it's just a, you know, a mandala from a coloring book that I colored, you know, and, but it, that's, it let me be creative because I'm choosing the colors, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, do something. Okay. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like Monet or Picasso. I don't like Picasso, but like, it doesn't have to be Monet. Right. But it could be something. Write a book, write a story, write a lyrics for a song. Something, get out in nature, you know, go for a walk. Thank God I have Neo now. I get to go for a walk four times a day. <laughs> I've done all of that today. <laughs> Stand and now in I'm sun here. if you have sun, you know? Yes. Yeah. And then if, if, none, if none of that works, then you, then you know what the answer is. You have to, you have to, you know, choose for you. Okay? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, if for, for some of you that may be like having it, having a hard time deciding or choosing, do, do kinesiology, you know, do the pendulum or the sway test, you know, um, ask somebody else to do the sway test for you or with you or the pendulum and stuff. You know, if you think that you're just in your head and you're not going to get the answer, ask somebody else, you know, sometimes somebody else asking you the question helps. Okay. 
as well. Okay. Oh, the best part of looking at nature is the knowing that nature is looking at you. <laughs> nature is looking at you. Oh. Yeah. Whew. Okay. So Lisa says it can just be for the sake of playing and getting a vibration up. Yeah, just play. Okay. So I remember when my kids were little, you know, we used to have a balloon and we just play with the balloon and I would have so much fun, you know, and we'd be laughing hysterically. A balloon, it costs nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, who cares? You know, do something, okay? So, all right, let's do some, it's like sweating buckets. Let's do some energy work, even though the energies have been flowing anyways throughout this conversation, as you know, because I'm sweating. All right, wow. All right, everyone, <laughs> take a deep breath. Focus on your heart space. Breathe in through your nose to count to four. Breathe out to count to four. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Good. Now just imagine that you're standing under a crystal clear waterfall. You definitely need this today. So as you're standing under this crystal clear waterfall, you're in a sacred space, a sacred garden. The energy is peaceful, serene, but also uplifting. You can sense the vibration of this place. You can hear the birds chirping in the trees. You see the butterflies flitting about. And you know, butterflies are a symbol of transformation. You can smell the fragrance of the flowers and the berries and the fruits on the trees and in the bushes and the greenness of the forest. Feel the warmth of the sun on your face, on your skin. You just get a sense of the breeze that's just blowing through the trees. It gently goes by cooling you down a bit since we've been so hot. And as you're standing under this waterfall, the water could be warm or cool, whatever temperature you like. As the water goes down the front and back and left and right side of your body, just let go of any thoughts, feelings, and emotions from the day. All the mental toxins, the emotional toxins, all the worries and anxieties and stresses. Let them all go into the water to be transmuted and healed. And let those rainbow-filled water droplets do their magic to rejuvenate you, revitalize you, replenish you, your mind, body, and soul, your energy field and aura. Just take a deep breath and receive. Let's connect into Mother Earth. So just imagine now that this rainbow waterfall is now a rainbow pillar of light that goes all the way down to the heart chakra of Mother Earth and all the way up to the great central sun, Father Sun. So just slowly float down, descend down into the heart chakra of Mother Earth. Just breathe and let go and descend in this rainbow pillar of light. And as you connect in and tap into the heart chakra of Mother Earth, take a deep breath and send Mother Earth your unconditional love, your blessings. 
your gratitude and your compassion to Mother Earth, to this beautiful planet. Good, now take a deep breath and receive. Receive from Mother Earth, unconditional love, blessings, gratitude, compassion, healing, and wisdom, support, strength, and vitality, nurturing and nourishment, abundance and prosperity. And just allow yourself to be filled up with these energies from Mother Earth. Allow yourself to receive Allow yourself to be these energies. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's connect into Father Son, the great central sun, creator, source, God, spirit, universe. So just Go up that rainbow pillar of light, float upwards. Up, 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 slowly or fast, whatever you like. Just breathe and go up. Floating upwards, upwards, upwards. And as you connect in, as you tap in to Father Sun, to the great central sun, take a deep breath and send your unconditional love, blessings, your gratitude, your compassion, and your thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the blessings in my life. I am so grateful, thank you. Take a deep breath and receive. Receive unconditional love, blessings, gratitude, grace, compassion, peace, bliss, and oneness, joy and happiness, connection and support, healing and well-being, knowing and wisdom, Acceptance, allowance, receiving. Faith and trust. Abundance and prosperity and whatever else you require today. Take a deep breath and receive. Say again, say thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Now come back down to your heart space in your chest. And just lower any walls or barriers that may be up. Push them down. And if you think there aren't any, still push them down. And now expand out to be as big as a room that you're in. city, keep expanding, keep breathing, the state or province. Country, continent, and as big as this planet and beyond. Good, now come back to your heart space. And I just want you to be in your heart for a moment and just whatever feelings, emotions are coming up right now, let them come up for a moment. Whatever has been going on this week, I know it's only Monday, but <laughs> for the last couple of days, whatever is coming up, let them come up for a second. And just imagine in front of you a golden rose. 
And all those energies that you've been playing with, I'm going to use that term. I just want you to blow them into that golden rose. And as you do, that golden rose starts to vibrate and shimmer even more. And it starts to twirl and spin. And as it does, all those energies that you've just sent it, they're all being transmuted, they're all being healed, and they're all being transformed into particles of golden light. The golden rose is still the golden rose, but it's like it's, it's like it's all these little golden sparkles are coming off of it and going up, up, up into spirit, into creator, into universe. And take a deep breath. And as you do, this golden rose starts to bloom and blossom a little bit more. It's still full. It's still sparkling. It's fresh. It can take even more. So if there's more that's coming up for you, let it come up and send it to that golden rose. Just blow it into that golden rose. And as you do, the golden rose starts to spin and spiral. And it's like those golden sparkles start to come up off of it and go up into the universe, into crater, to be healed and transmuted. And just take a deep breath and let go. We're going to do it one more time. So if there's still anything there that's coming up for you, let it come up and blow it into that golden rose. And it's okay if you're angry, it's okay if you're sad, it's okay if you're crying. It's okay to be vulnerable. Just let it go. Because once you let it go, your own healing can begin. So as you blow it into the golden rose, the golden rose starts to spin and spiral and those golden flakes start to come off of it and go up into the universe to God, creator source be healed and transmuted. And the golden rose again blooms and is like it's perfect again. Just take a deep breath. And now I want you to place that golden rose in your heart, in your heart chakra. Just reach out in front of you and put it into your heart. And breathe. So whenever something is going on with you now, just remember that golden rose and send those energies to the golden rose to be transmuted and healed and sent up to creator source, God, spirit. Okay, take a deep breath. And let that golden rose expand into your heart space. So it's like your whole, heart space is becoming golden and again breathe in some more and expand so that your whole body and being is becoming golden the energy of that golden rose is now filling up your entire body and being and your entire energy field and aura so 
Awesome. Take a deep breath. And again, just be in your heart space. And just receive. Be open to receiving some energies, frequencies, and vibrations, and blessings, and gifts from me and my team from the ninth dimension and beyond. Concentrated, blessed. For all of you who are here now, and who are going to watch or listen to this later, Good. So along with all of the other energies, frequencies and vibrations, blessings and gifts, just receive some more unconditional love, blessings, gratitude, grace, compassion, healing and wisdom, abundance and prosperity, whatever else you require. Good, take a deep breath. And now you're above, above your aura now, the golden diamond infinity symbol starts to spin and spiral all the way from top to bottom, back to front, left to right. And as it does, hundreds of other infinity symbols and golden liquid light spin out of it, going deep into your cells, into your molecules and particles, your DNA, into your body and being, into your energy fields and aura. The golden liquid light is filling up your entire aura on the inside, the outside, and a golden flower of life is being placed on the outside of your aura as well. Just breathe and receive. Now that golden diamond in the symbol comes and rests in your heart chakra. And above your crown, Brilliant blue diamond starts to spin just above your crown, above your head. Starts to spin and then it goes down through your crown into your heart space. Here as it spins, it radiates out this brilliant blue light from source, spirit, creator, source, God, universe. Completely filling you up. Take a deep breath and receive that. And now I invite you to send unconditional love, blessings, gratitude, and compassion to your family, friends, loved ones, colleagues, and coworkers, to everybody in the call listening now, watching now, listening later, watching later, everybody in the group, to yourself, to me, to your support team, this beautiful planet, to all of humanity, all the pets and animals, and anybody else, anything else, any place else that requires it. Please send unconditional love, blessings, gratitude, and compassion now. And receive. Good, take a deep breath. Take your energy attention, focus all the way down to the heart chakra of Mother Earth for a moment. Breathe in deeply. A few times. And come back up to your heart, your heart chakra. Again, breathe in deeply. Be present in your body, be present in your space, be present in your room, be present be present, be present. Start to wiggle your toes and fingers. And when you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Okay, drink some water.
All right, how's everyone doing? Definitely want to drink some water. Walk around if you need to as well. So just breathe into your heart a little bit more and just expand out. Expand, 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 and breathe through your heart chakra into your chest. And if your chest hurts, you're just releasing. You might just want to walk around and stretch a little bit too, okay? Lisa says, that was so beautiful. I could see the golden rose and sparkles and just feel filled with love. Good. Awesome. Me too. There was lots and lots of yawning in the beginning and tears of connection through my eyes and lots of releasing. And I got the exact message that I needed. And then I like Cinderella at the ball from her rags to golden i turned into the golden rose it's really beautiful <laughs> awesome good share yeah thank you Brenda says uh, beautiful awesome and thank you all brenda how are you doing so uh, i'm i'm actually doing pretty good uh <laughs> i needed that Awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, I also felt the rose and um, just before you said it of the um, of the the golden sparkles coming off of it, I was actually seeing that just before you said it. <laughs> and then and then when we went down into earth and then came back up and we settled in our heart, um, I actually started seeing like um, uh, little gemstones of deep blues and purples and deep reds just like just like just coming up with me mm -hmm. and just being all around and um I, I don't usually I, I usually see in waves of color I don't usually see in droplets so nice. that was pretty exciting yeah yeah so Thank you. those you could you know they those could be the blessings and gifts you know that you're bringing up with you right mm -hmm. that's that's precious that's a yeah. good way to look at it thank you you're welcome <laughs> Lisa says, me too. Awesome. So I'm, I'm assuming that meant you also saw, Lisa, <laughs> the, uh, the golden rose and all that wonderful stuff. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, the, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so yeah, so the, the gratitude challenge starts today. You can still join, obviously. Go to alara.at forward slash challenge. Um, and also the higher dimension healing intensive starts on Wednesday. If you'd like to join, you know, it's about, you know, the processes are kind of like this. They change every day. I never know what I'm going to do as well as some coaching beforehand and Q and a as well. So, um, if you'd like to join, you can go to lr.at.hdhi <laughs> or no, or <laughs> but don't buy from there. <laughs> Unless you really want to, because if you're part of my community, you know, you, uh, you pay a lot less than what's on my website. So <laughs> check your email. <laughs> awesome. And if it, and you know, and like I said to Brenda, you know, if, you know, for especially the, um, the gratitude, you know, if you need to share and you or I'm not going to say you need to, but I'm, I'm suggesting that you share. Right. Just email me. I may not respond, but just email me to say, Laura, I'm sharing. This is what I'm grateful for. You know, okay. just, you know, if you can't do it on Facebook, just send me an email just so that you, there's no excuse not to. Okay. I'm taking, I'm taking okay. away all your excuses. All right. You, you are, and you're making me have a voice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I have, I have been hiding. I have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this is the year for not hiding. So this is the year yeah. for showing up. Yeah. I, and um, I'm I'm feeling that I'm I'm not as scared. Like <laughs> um, I've developed some courage. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can do it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Um, so Lisa says she's going to be joining the ADHI. Awesome. Looking forward to you, Lisa. Lisa. Layla T says thank you and blessings. Thank you. All right, so if anybody has any questions or anything, feel free to email me. This went a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. My puppy is like 
scratching at the door. <laughs> He's missing me. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Be gentle with yourself, you know, and even like because of the process that we just did today, be gentle with yourself, okay? Because it is, you know, releasing stuff, right? And so when there's ever, when there is a release, sometimes in order for the release to happen, the stuff has to come up, right? So you do have to look at it. You have to see it. You have to acknowledge it. And then you let it go. <laughs> and it's like, okay, thank you. All right. So I know everything always feels great on the call, but then afterwards, like, oh my God, what, the, what happened? What did she do? <laughs> continue, continue to let go, continue to release. Yeah. Tears release toxins. Yeah. Those emotional toxins, right? Those emotional toxins, those mental toxins, as well as spiritual toxins. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Right. So Absolutely. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time. May you all be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, uh, and radiant health. <laughs> all right, sending you all much love and blessings always. And Back may all that for you as well, Alara. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Bye, everybody. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank and you. Thank you. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a next time. There's always a next time. All right. Bye.